Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a warm welcome to this ACDC Ultimate 2026 review. So ACDC Ultimate is an all-in-one photo studio for Windows PC. It combines contemporary photo management, Lightroom-like photo editing and a Photoshop-style layer-based graphic design studio. Other features include AI upscaling and noise reduction, HDR merge, panorama stitching, focus stacking and integration with your smartphone via the ACDC mobile sync app. So you can buy ACDC outright for one-time payment of 150 US dollars. Alternatively, you can subscribe to the ACDC 365 from about $8 per month, in which case you will receive ACDC Ultimate, Luxia Pro Video Editor, continual updates, and 200 gigabytes of cloud storage. Overall, ACDC Ultimate offers a subscription-free alternative to Lightroom and to a lesser extent, Photoshop, making it a compelling option for anyone looking to consolidate their entire digital photography workflow within a single application. Now, if you would like to try ACDC Ultimate for free, you can, and to that end, there is a link to your free trial in the description below. So new to ACDC Ultimate 2026 is AI Denoise, an artificial intelligence powered photo noise reduction system, and AI Hair, a new AI masking feature that automatically selects and adjusts your subject's hair, color, and tone. Furthermore, Ultimate features AI presets that combine adjustments with AI masking for quicker landscape and portrait edits. Meanwhile, Ultimate's already excellent face edit portrait enhancer now has a splotch removal tool for smoothing away skin blemishes. Finally, Ultimate 26 now supports JPEG XL and AVIF formats and includes a new customizable home screen that presents shortcuts to popular features. Overall, Ultimate 26 is a desirable, if not essential, upgrade to ACDC Ultimate 25. However, 2026 is well worth a look if you're still on Ultimate 24 or older. Furthermore, as an existing customer, you may be able to upgrade to 2026 for a discounted rate of just $80. So what does ACDC Ultimate do? Well, let's begin with photo management. So with ACDC Ultimate, you can rate your photos, assign them to any number of categories or albums, and tag them with keywords. You can also utilize Ultimate's map view to geotag your images and browse your photos by their location. Meanwhile, Ultimate's automatic keyword tagging system leverages object recognition to identify photographic elements. After that, you'll be able to search for photos by content using keywords such as person, bees, architecture, and many more. Likewise, if you name the people within your photos, ACDC Ultimate's face recognition will crawl your photo collection and add those names to anyone with a matching face. All of this means you'll be able to search for all top-rated photos taken with an OM-1 in 2020 featuring Dave standing next to a building. Best of all, and unlike Lightroom, Ultimate's automatic keyword tagging and face recognition work on photos you've stored on local disk. However, if you do subscribe to ACDC, 365, you will be able to store images on the cloud and access and share those images via common web browsers. Yet, whether you subscribe or not, you can download the free ACDC mobile share app and transfer your smartphone pictures to your ACDC library via your home network. Finally, Ultimate features a rather nice dashboard view that enables you to delve into statistics such as your most frequently used cameras, lenses, ISOs, apertures, focal lengths, and many more. While this information may seem a little indulgent, it could help inform your next camera or lens purchase. So as you can see, ACDC Ultimate's photo management features are generously equipped. However, it is also highly competent at what it does and is capable of bringing order to the most chaotic of photo collections. And unlike Lightroom, Ultimate does not rely on the cloud delivering full functionality regardless of where you choose to store your images. So next up, photo editing. So ACDC Ultimate features two separate editing modules. The Lightroom style develop tab is where you can tune your photo's exposure, tone curve, white balance, 
color palette, as well as other more advanced features such as color grading, split toning, and output color space. Moreover, many of Ultimate's tools offer targeted adjustments, which means you can apply them by interacting directly with the image rather than dragging sliders. Furthermore, while almost every photo editing application offers presets, ACDC Ultimate offers presets for virtually any adjustment. As a result, you'll be able to save your favorite split tones, color grades, sharpening settings, tone curves, and more. Naturally, you can also save your overall edit as a global preset. Ultimate also offers a variety of masking options, including automatic AI powered subject, sky, background, and object masking, as well as luminance, color, radial, and gradient masks. Of course, if none of these options are suitable, you can always use the edge aware brush and apply your masks manually. If you are new to photo editing, you can always rely on Ultimate's collection of presets to deliver a quick result. Preset collections in include black and white, landscape, portrait, vintage, and more. New to Ultimate 2026 are AI presets, which leverage Ultimate's AI masking to apply specific adjustments to your portrait subject or your landscape sky. Unfortunately, previewing one preset after another has the unusual result of applying preset and then another one on top. Thus, to avoid compounding presets, you must apply your preset undo it, then try another. So next up is the edit tab. So the edit tab is a more feature rich version of the develop tab. Critically, you'll be able to apply your adjustments as layers, thus enabling you to stack and blend multiple adjustments to create compound effects that are not possible in non-layer based editors, such as Lightroom or Ultimate's own develop tab. Furthermore, you can combine multiple images add text, drawings, and shapes, thus making Ultimate a viable option for graphic design. In addition to layers, the Edit tab also features exclusive options not available in the Develop tab. Most notably is ACDC's outstanding portrait enhancement tools, Face Edit, which now includes Hair AI, an automatic hair masking tool. There's also an automated sky replacement feature, a background blur and removal tool, and numerous other minor adjustments, including gradients, watermarking, and borders. Another a new addition to the edit tab is AI Denoise, which utilizes AI technology for superior noise reduction in photos compared to traditional methods. You can also apply AI Denoise to one or many images while browsing your collection in the Manage tab. Overall, Ultimate's Edit tab provides a Photoshop Lite like user experience on a budget and offers the potential to create results that surpass those of non layer based alternatives. Meanwhile, other features in ACDC Ultimate include Photo Merge, which includes focus stacking, HDR merge, and panorama stitching tools. Meanwhile, you can use the AI powered super resolution to upscale and enlarge your photos. So is ACDC Ultimate good to use? Well, ACDC Ultimate's feature laden text heavy interface is likely to intimidate beginners and even experienced photo editors may be turned away by the sheer busyness of what lies before them. However, spend a few hours with ACDC Ultimate and you will find the undercurrent of logic flowing beneath the chaotic first impression. However, even if you don't, you may be impressed with just how customizable Ultimate's interface is and it won't be long before you've tuned its workspace to fit your workflow perfectly. When it comes to editing, ACDC Ultimate is a mixed bag. While its preset system is much improved, it is still obscured by Ultimate's generously stocked interface. However, once you've found them, they work all the same. Meanwhile, experienced users will appreciate the responsiveness of Ultimate's develop tab and its extensive suite of tools and targeted adjustments. Moreover, the ability to store individual adjustments as presets is insanely helpful and bizarrely a feature missing in most of ACDC's rivals. Yet Ultimate's inclusion of two edit modes does muddy the water. At one time it was possible to use one or the other without concern, but these days the edit tab's increasing roster of exclusive features means you'll feel compelled to use it on select occasions. While it would be fair to consider the inclusion of two separate editing tools as high value, at this 
stage, I might prefer a single best of both worlds mode. Nonetheless, I consider ACDC Ultimate great to use, but only once you have ascended its steep but brief learning curve. So let's talk a little bit about performance. So ACDC Ultimate responds to your adjustments in real time, resulting in a seamless and smooth photo editing workflow. Moreover, Ultimate AI's masking is surprisingly fast, as is the excellent face edit feature. In contrast, AI denoise and super resolution upscaling are comparatively slow, as is HDR merge. Another performance issue lies with face recognition. If you leave it in automatic, it will cause a brief delay as you browse from one image to the next. Fortunately, you can circumvent this issue in two ways. First, you can trigger face recognition manually on a photo by photo basis. Second, you can leave your computer on for a few hours while Ultimate crawls your entire collection in one go. Overall, while ACDC Ultimate does have areas of stilted performance, it's lightning fast where it matters most. However, as always, I recommend downloading the free trial and testing it on your own hardware against your own expectations. And to that end, there's a free trial in the description below. So is ACDC Ultimate any good? Well, behind Ultimate's initially steep learning curve hides a responsive, feature-rich and competent all-in-one photo management and editing studio. Regarding photo management, Ultimate's blend of traditional and contemporary features, such as face recognition and automatic keyword tagging, delivers outstanding convenience and organization, all without dependence on the cloud. As for photo editing, Ultimate has almost every adjustment you'll need, and many can be set by interacting directly with the image rather than dragging sliders, resulting in a more engaging workflow. And best of all, Ultimate's lightning fast preview keeps pace with your adjustments, resulting in greater precision. While ACDC Ultimate's dual editing modes represent excellent value, it does create division. For instance, while I prefer working in the develop mode, only the editing mode offers layer-based editing, face edit, and sky replacement. Therefore, I must master two separate modules instead of one. Regarding presets, they're much improved in Ultimate 2026. However, I prefer it when applications separate presets into their own tab, thus isolating them from the distracting hordes of manual adjustments. However, I do adore the ability to create unique presets for each adjustment. So it's fair to say that ACDC Ultimate isn't lacking for features. However, some features do work better than others. While it's great to see the inclusion of AI noise reduction, it isn't as effective as some of its rivals. And the same applies to the upscaler. Meanwhile, ACDC's implementation of sky replacement is subpar, and its HDR capabilities are not much better. However, ACDC Ultimate's face recognition, AI keywords, and AI masking are all excellent, while the face edit mode is so good that you can turn a frown upside down and even redirect your subject's wayward gaze. Plus, its layer-based edit tab delivers creative options that none of Ultimate's non-layer-based alternatives can match. Thus, like its rivals, ACDC ACDC Ultimate suffers from some rough edges, yet it's very good at the things that matter most to most people. So what are the best alternatives to ACDC Ultimate? Well, of course, the most obvious alternative to ACDC Ultimate is Lightroom. Like Ultimate, Lightroom delivers outstanding photo management with features such as face recognition and AI keyword tagging. However, unlike Ultimate, these features will only work with your cloud-hosted images. But thanks to the cloud, you will be able to browse, edit, and share your pictures via standard web browsers as as well as iOS, macOS, and Android devices. Although Ultimate also offers cloud functionality, Lightroom does it better. Regarding presets, I much prefer Lightroom's presentation and selection, and most people will find Lightroom's minimalistic interface easier to learn. Yet Ultimate's interface can be customized to taste, whereas Lightroom's is barely customizable at all. When it comes to photo editing, both are highly responsive, similarly capable, and offer the usual range of traditional adjustments, along with modern features such as AI masking, upscaling, and noise reduction. Yet, Lightroom's upscaling and denoising are superior, and Ultimate lacks an equivalent to Lightroom's generative AI erase brush. Nonetheless, I prefer editing in ACDC Ultimate, thanks to its customizable interface, exceptional range of targeted adjustments, 
the means to edit with layers and the ability to store adjustments as presets. Of course, whether you choose Lightroom or ACDC Ultimate may come down to your preferences regarding subscriptions. As unlike Lightroom, you can only purchase Ultimate outright for a one-time payment. Nonetheless, for some use cases, Lightroom and its value adding one terabyte of storage could be more cost-effective overall. So to conclude, ACDC Ultimate 2026 remains one of the best all-in-one photo management and editing studios today. With features such as AI masking, layer-based photo editing, the Face Edit Portrait Enhancer, automatic keyword tagging and face recognition, it is hard to think of a photo editing application that does so much so well for so little money. Of course, Ultimate is not perfect. For instance, its sky replacement feature remains undercooked, and its new AI denoise noise reduction is no match for its rivals. Furthermore, Ultimate's traditionally busy interface is likely to confuse newcomers, and the presence of two separate editing modules is beginning to feel less like good value and more like a distraction. But many of Ultimate's quirks mask an underlying logic. While features such as presets for every adjustment may seem like clutter at first, they become beneficial once you're accustomed to them, as does the highly customizable workspace and generous supply of targeted adjustments. Of course, you could choose Lightroom instead. Lightroom has an equally excellent photo management system and a similarly competent photo editing mode, complete with superior AI upscaling and noise reduction excellent cloud integration, plus one of the better generative AI erase tools. However, Lightroom lacks a portrait enhancer, layer-based editing, presets for each adjustment, and a background removal tool. Furthermore, its face recognition and AI keyword tagging will only work with your cloud-hosted images. Moreover, you cannot tweak its interface to better align with your workflow, nor can you buy it outright and avoid subscription fees. Overall, ACDC Ultimate is a well priced, responsive and straightforward to use photo studio that's generously equipped to meet the needs of your everyday digital photography workflow. Thus, I consider ACDC Ultimate one of the best photo editing applications and highly recommend it for a try. And remember, to that end, you will find a link to your free ACDC Ultimate trial in the description below. Now, as always at this point of video, I would like to remind you that I am indeed an affiliate for ACDC. However, I'm also affiliated with Lightroom, DxO, On One, and many more. Thus, I can be impartial through saturation. Of course, you don't have to take my word for any of this. And in fact, I strongly recommend that you try the free trial before you buy. If you would like to know more about ACDC Ultimate and its competitors, do consider dropping by Silent. Peak. Here you will also find the Silent Peak store presenting the latest deals and discounts on promo codes on all of your favorite software. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing, liking, commenting, even leaving a super thanks. I hope you have found this review useful. My name is Richard from Silent Peak. I wish you a very good day. Bye bye.